some squeeze. Big city with the bright lights. I've been dreaming about the finer things. Top down with some diamonds on me. Big fur like the Lion King. So much money, I got money, money. money, money. So much money, I got money bags. Money bags. Coffee table full of rubber bands. Hey, stacks oh piling my, money, oh man. God. So much money, I got money bags. Money and Dreddy asked me where the money at. I point to the top, the man of the hour, that's me over waving my money flat I've been dreaming about the right things, big house with a big ring Cars said I want it all, oh I can't wait to be king See I've been waiting on the right time, with a nice hook, with the right line Fishing for gold, the right kind, Lambo, no cosign What's up guys, I want to give a little commentary on this vlog for a reason that I will explain in a second. But I did go to MCW Slambury, which is sponsored by Jimmy Seafood. Jimmy Seafood, who you've probably seen being on different WWE Superstars Instagram because they give them food. It's quite good food, by the way. I'm promoting it like they're paying me. They're not. It's just good eats, fam. I mean, if you live in the DMV, it's up in Baltimore, so go check it out. But of course, I had to go to this MCW show. They had Leo Rush there. So here's me meeting Leo Rush for probably the 15th billion trillion times. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if you saw in the clip, but even his wife was like, "Wait, isn't that the guy from Instagram Live?" It's like, yeah, that's that's me. I'm that guy. I'm that kid that he roasts all the time. I'm. I'm that dude. Subscribe. Hey man, what's up, man? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I don't know how you keep being on my phone. I don't know how many accounts. Okay. Uh -huh. Mr. Mr. Malcolm Man. Uh, Subscribe. It got to a point where I was on that so much that people would actually know me as the Leo Rush Instagram Live guy. Not like in that phrase, because that's a really long title, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know what? We're all known for something, and that's my purpose. I guess I found it. I did get Leo signs 8 by 10 It was signed to Malcolm Muscle Meat Man, which is what he would call me on his Instagram Lives, because he refuses to say Muscle Man Malcolm. It's not that hard to say. It's three words. They all start with M. It's pretty simple, but I don't even know where the meat came from. I don't even know where the meat came from. Mm, try again. That's the sense I never thought I was gonna say on YouTube. Subscribe. Guys, if you didn't know it, what's your Instagram handle? Quillo dot there. Boom, it's right there. But look what he's wearing right now. You see the sweatshirt he has on right now? That's that Mountaraj stuff. The most exclusive club in all professional wrestling, the Mountaraj. You can get it on teespring.com forward slash Malcolm, or no, 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 I messed it up. Malcolm World, Malcolm Worldwide. Crap, I messed it up. Get some merch, it's cool. Now I'm about to sign this little bad little sucker right here. Come here, come here. Zoom on that. Zoom in. Oh, but that's that's fresh. That's icy. I got the camera. Look at that. Look at this right here. Exclusive club. Mount Tara established in 2017. It's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? Look at NXT champion. He got the merch on. <laughs> Swagging. He's dripping right now. He's like a faucet. It's amazing. MCW right now. Got my man's over here. What is the this Leo Rush is here? What is your favorite Leo Rush match ever? Check out one with uh, Flip Gordon here at MCW. Subscribe. But yeah, he signed this 8x10, which is pretty cool. But you're probably thinking, wait, Malcolm, I thought he was in WWE. Why is he at an indie show signing autographs and taking pictures? Like, uh, what? The reason Leo was brought to this MCW show on top of other people like Gorillas of Destiny and Melina, and even the Perfect 10, Sean Spears. But especially Leo, this show was made to sponsor the Bruiser. If you guys don't know who that is, he's essentially like a Maryland wrestling like icon. He's a veteran. He's also the head trainer at the MCW training school where he's trained some guys that I know you probably heard of today I mean obviously Leo Rush Orlando Jordan Rosa Mendez when she made her short comeback to the ring before she got injured she's been out for a while but when she came back to wrestling she trained at MCW also that uh that uh that, that Velveteen dream guy I don't know if you guys know who that is but yeah he trained there too. But as far as in-ring accomplishments go, I mean, the guy's a former 10-time MCW heavyweight champion. That's these many. That's like Ty Dillinger many. Also a former Rage TV champion, which is essentially their mid-card title, their Intercontinental Championship. And a four-time MCW tag team champion with one of those tag team reigns being with a WWE Hall of Famer, that being the King Jerry Lawler. But the biggest reason the show was essentially dedicated to him was unfortunately the fact that the Bruiser was diagnosed with leukemia. He has spent his life fighting in the ring.
I've been wrestling since 1997. I'm not backing down from anybody. Now, he's fighting for his life. All of a sudden, my heart felt like it was going to pop out of my chest. The doctor came in and said, you know, you have leukemia. The inspiring story of a hometown hero who's finding strength from his community to overcome his battle with cancer. Do you see yourself in the ring again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Sunday at 11, after the season finale of American Idol, only on WMAR 2 News. I mean, on a surface level as wrestling fans, I know we're all aware of what leukemia is because unfortunately Roman Reigns did have to go through that process as well. But the biggest reason I want to make this video, obviously, because I want to show you highlights of the show, which I'm going to do. I want to leave a link down in the description of this GoFundMe so you guys can actually go donate if you have any money. And if you don't, it's fine. Just, you know, try to share the link around. Send it to your mama. Send it to your dad. Send it to your friend that likes wrestling as maybe a really over-obsessed Zack Ryder mark that still has that big old wig that used to sell back in 2011 and tell them to donate if they have any money or to share the link. That way we all can come together and help someone out that needs it. I mean, the bruiser, I've met him a couple times. I mean, the guy's extremely nice. Anyone who's ever been to an MCW show has seen the bruiser wrestle. I mean, he's a great wrestler. On top, he just seems like a really cool dude in person as well. I got to meet Lance Otawaii again, who I've interviewed on his channel before, but also, if you guys don't know who he is, he's a cousin of the Usos and Roman and blah, blah, blah. On top of the fact, he's the guy that faced the best Shane McMahon on Raw a couple weeks ago. But at the end of the show, they had like this big Royal Rumble and the winner of the match got a title shot at the next MCW show, which is the Shane Shamrock Cup, which is something I've talked about on this channel before of the history of the Shane Shamrock Cup and all that, which they announced that Nick Aldis is gonna be there defending the NWA World Takeaway Championship. And y'all know I like me some NWA. It's the same day as Extreme Rules too, so I don't know. Do I go to Extreme Rules or do I go to MCW? I don't really know. I can't make up my mind, but I'll figure that out later. But I do wanna show you guys the speech that the Bruiser did because before he came out to the ring, there's like this big montage of like different wrestlers like saying you know bruiser strong get well feel better all that kind of stuff with names that we all know from the independent scene also on the wwe level including leo rush and mickey james roman reigns and even better was a awesome promo that velveteen dream cut literally right before he had his nxt takeover 25 match against tyler breeze which was so cool so i'm just gonna play those highlights also lance on the white signed this picture which i thought was pretty cool cool so we're gonna play those highlights i want you guys to donate if you can share the link around and i'll see you guys in the next video adios subscribe